And that brings us now to our weather forecast. El Rolando mm. is here now to tell us that the sun is going to come out. Rolando, I and like we that. may not have to wait until tomorrow. You know, one of the, one of the uh, um, I'd say most pleasant winters I've ever spent mm -hmm. was a winter in San Diego. It's delightful. It is so nice. So you're liking this Wallet Hub yeah, list? Is that I, what you're saying? I, I kind of like that. It's good. Although Las Vegas is not that that great of a destination, it gets cold in Vegas in the wintertime. In the wintertime, yeah. you can get some storms move through, yeah. and it can get really Absolutely. chilly. Absolutely. Speaking of storms, take a look at this live shot we have right now. This is uh, our own Morgan Wagner setting us up with a live shot from the top of Bogus Basin. What are we seeing there, Jake? What is that? I can't see that. It looks like a little hut or yeah, something. Yeah, a little bird. No, it's a hut, some kind of a, a hut, yeah. So, and what we're seeing is uh, the snow is still there on the ground. It's going to continue to snow on again, off again through the night tonight. But that is a beautiful sight. We love it when it snows in our local mountains. Now, take a look at this time lapse video. This is from Redfish Lake. Watch, because you're going to see the video is going to stop about midstream. Watch what's happening with the trees as the trees are getting the snow flocking on them. So here we go, putting it into motion. Here comes the snow. Look at the tree branches all of a sudden starting to bend down from the weight of the snow that's accumulating on there. Now put this into motion and watch how long it lasts. Does not last very long. Trees are bending down. Then all of a sudden the sun comes out and the snow already starts melting. But we are getting a nice depositing of snow across the higher elevations of the sawtooth up there. Anything and everything that we get just is so important for us, friends, as we get into uh, late spring and summer. This is where we start developing our water storage for the summer season. It's right now. So as you can tell, we still have a few isolated showers that are taking place here in the Treasure Valley. And this is the way the pattern is going to be. May even see a little fast-moving isolated thunderstorm every now and then this evening. Then tomorrow's when everything begins to dry out. So on your weather headlines right now, some morning fog as we start to clear out with the moisture that's on the ground, the temperature drops. We're going to be seeing some fog in the Treasure Valley. Increasing sunshine tomorrow. Nice weekend and a slow warming trend is going to commence. Not so much tomorrow, but more so by Thursday and especially Friday, Saturday and Sunday. Temperatures are going to be warming up into the upper 60s. So the storm track is still very active for the northwestern corner of the country. This is what has been our real nice conveyor belt of moisture. But the conveyor belt that has brought in one storm after another is about to go away as high pressure starts building up from the south. It's going to start pushing the moisture up to the north. So the storms are going to be going north for a while. This is what's going to give us a very nice weekend. And then the models are kind of hinting that something's going to try and come back here around the first or the middle of next week. So we haven't seen the last of it, but we're going to catch a nice little break and enjoy some sunshine this weekend with high temperatures in the upper 60s. I'm just going to say a nice weekend overall is what I'm expecting. So on the future cast, you can see right now there's hit and miss pockets of showers. Let's take you to tomorrow morning. Here comes the influence of high pressure. There goes the storm track. It's starting to shift to the north. So again, some patchy fog in the valley. Otherwise, plenty of sunshine in the afternoon. And this next storm system is going to be glancing by the northern part of the state. But I expect that we're going to stay dry here in the Treasure Valley for some time. So here's the seven-day forecast for the Treasure Valley itself. 60 degrees under mostly sunny skies tomorrow after some morning fog. Then on Thursday, we'll go with partly cloudy skies as that storm passes by to the north. Friday, sunny and 68. Now we're getting warmer than average. Saturday, sunny and 69. Sunday, mostly sunny and 68. And then maybe something around the first of next week. We'll see how it plays out, but I'm hoping that the storm track does come back. It should. But that's the way the timing looks right now. And up in the mountains, we're going to be seeing mostly clear skies after some patchy morning fog in the valleys up there, in the mountain valleys, in the Long Valley especially. And then on Thursday, cloudy skies. Friday, partly cloudy. Saturday and Sunday, mostly sunny to partly cloudy with increasing clouds on Monday with a chance of some storminess again around Tuesday of next week. So the storms aren't done no. for a long period of time. No. They're, they're done for the rest of this week. Really like, yeah, really like the pattern. Again, the pattern is, is showing to be conducive to bring in storms on a periodic basis. So that's good. Keep them coming. Yeah. All right. Thank you, Roland. You well, whether you're a night owl or an early bird, find the perfect sleep schedule. It can be tough. Coming up on KB.